I'm Dr. Marie Solis, a vascular surgeon with the South Georgia Medical Center Cardiovascular Institute. The Cardiovascular Institute is a group of cardiac and vascular surgeons, nurses, nurse practitioners, PAs, and vascular ultrasound technologists that specialize in the care of cardiac, thoracic, and vascular diseases. We recently relocated to Valdosta and the surgeons at the Cardiovascular Institute have over 60 years of combined experience specializing in coronary bypass, valve replacement, vascular surgery, and the minimally invasive treatment of aortic aneurysms and circulatory disorders. Today I'd like to talk about the treatment of aortic aneurysms. The aorta is the largest blood vessel in the body, runs from the heart, through the chest, and through the abdomen, and has a tendency to weaken over time and become dilated. This is called an aortic aneurysm. Most people with aortic aneurysms can safely just be followed with close ultrasound monitoring, but when the aneurysms get larger than five to five and a half centimeters, they have a tendency to rupture, which is about the eighth to ninth cause of death in the United States, as most ruptures are fatal. When they get this size, we can treat the aneurysms either with open surgery or with newer, minimally invasive, minimally invasive endovascular techniques called an endovascular stent graft. This procedure is done through small incisions in the groin where the stent graft is passed through the artery from the groin to the aneurysm and then deployed to seal the weakened wall of the aneurysm. I actually have here a model of such an aneurysm and stent graft. The aorta is this portion here and the dilated aneurysm part is here. These stent grafts come compressed into small catheters that are placed through the groin to above the side of the aneurysm, deployed in the aorta below the aneurysm so that all of the blood flow will go through the graft and there will be no longer any blood or blood pressure exerted on the weak wall of the artery, preventing it from further expansion and rupture. This operation usually results in a one night hospital stay and a very quick recovery. For more information on the Cardiovascular Institute, please visit sgmc.org.